Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we do an example how to construct deterministic finite automata. In our previous classes, uh, we already discussed about how to construct deterministic finite automata using a simple example. The complexity of this example will be a bit higher when compared to the previous one. So we are moving into the complex uh, deterministic finite automata step by step. So the first 10 classes is very, very important to understand. Please watch those classes uh, until you understand the uh, classes. Uh, those are very important to understand the remaining subject. Uh, Please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete theory of computations. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, so we will take an example, design a DFA and this DFA should contain the input symbols 0 and 1, the input symbols alphabets contains. So all these basics are covered in our previous classes, hoping the based on that we are explaining it. To accept strings that contain last two characters are 1. So the, if, you, if the string should contain the last two characters one, then only our DFA should be accepted. Otherwise, it should not be accepted. The string should not be accepted. That is what uh, the logic we have to construct. In our last class, the logic which we constructed for deterministic finite automata is the last character should be one. So the, coming to the point, uh, coming to the point, how to construct that? Let's try to understand step by step. Suppose if you take two, two consecutive ones, that is what we have to identify. And we discussed that uh, we don't, we don't have memory here. So we don't know which character is is uh, seen before, and we don't know which character will comes next based on the present character, and we don't know the length of the string also based on the present character. We have to identify the logic. So in order to identify that logic, we are constructing few states. So we are this is our initial state. We are starting from this initial state. If you if you observe one on this initial state, we are moving to Q two. So what, what we understand from that, whenever we move to Q2, we have observed 1, 1. If you are in Q2 state means uh, previous input you observed here is a uh, 1. Okay. And if you, if you find one more one, we are moving to QF. Uh, so from this, what we understand that uh, if whenever you find two consecutive ones, we will move from here to here means we are moving from this state to QF state. Uh, so from Q1 to QF, when we will come to QF state, uh, whenever you find two consecutive ones, uh, we will come to QF state. Uh, final state will be mentioned with the uh, two circles uh, in DFA, uh, in DFA, infinite automata. So this is our final state. Uh, so whenever you find two ones, uh, we have to accept that string because uh, our our logic is we have to accept strings that contains last two characters once we are having only two characters those are the last two characters those are ones that's why whenever you find two consecutive ones we are moving up to here now take few more examples and construct the remaining remaining conditions also so like this step by step we have to think about different conditions and we have to apply the logic uh, movement logic uh, how to move which state we have to move that is what you have to decide so these examples slowly you will understand how to after 10 classes you will get an idea how to construct the DFA. So our examples we will choose the, uh, choose the examples like that so that you will get a better idea how to construct the DFA after 10 classes. Okay, coming to the next one, if, you, if your input string is like that, 1, 0, double 1, whenever you see the 1, we are moving to Q2 state, whenever you see 0 on Q2 state. So what's our logic is we have to find two consecutive ones and those ones should be at the end of the string. We don't know whether this is the last the last input or this is the first input or this is the middle input. We just check the input because we don't have the memory. That point should be remembered. So whenever you find Q2, so what we understand that when you find 0, we are moving to Q1. Why we have moved to Q1? Because the next two input, because uh, one zero, what's the what's the input string that should be accepted? Last two characters should be one. So that's why we are again moving to Q1. Because uh, in order to move to QF, uh, you have to find again two consecutive ones. Uh, then only our input string. Because we already lost the essence. Whenever you find, whenever you are in Q2, whenever if you find the input symbol zero, we lost the essence. Uh, 
this step uh, we lost that that's why we have to for the next characters uh, we have to again check from the beginning two consecutive ones if they are at the end uh, then accept otherwise don't accept so that's why the next input whenever you find q to zero we again move to q1 and check the next symbols take the next two input symbols if they are two continuous ones we will move to qf otherwise again we come to like that that is how we construct that now let's take one more example the same example up to here we constructed the same input is uh, same diagram is taken if you find that four ones for the first two ones we are moving up to here after two ones if you find the input symbol one means the last two characters are same two ones are two characters are ones so no need to go away from final state because here why we have defined this final state whenever you find two consecutive ones stay here that is how we have to construct so that's why that's why that is the reason whenever you find one we are staying here what, what's the reason we are staying here because uh, the last two characters observed by the our finite automata are ones that's why we are staying here we don't know whether we get the next character or not uh, up to now whatever the finite automata has seen uh, it's decided that uh, okay the last two characters i have observed are ones that's why i'm staying here okay again one more one the last two are ones how many ones you find the last two are ones because you already found that first two third one is one means the last two is one fourth one is one means the last two characters are ones so that is how that's why we have now let's take the next example if you suppose you have find one one after that you found zero so what you have to do means you have observed the string one one zero what's our logic we have to find the logic find the automata for uh, the last two characters should be one you have found the string up to here so coming to the next two characters from where you have to again check the logic uh, you have to move to the q1 because we lost the essence what's our essence the last two characters two consecutive one should be identified that's why whenever you find q on q here if you find zero means so the next two characters should be ones then only you again come to qf otherwise don't come because the last two characters are not ones so that's why on qf if you are moving if you find zero move to q1 from q1 again the next input character has to be taken what's the next input character zero whenever you find q1 zero on q1 so don't move stay on the q1 only that's why we are staying on q1 whenever you find one take one step whenever you find another one take one step if you find two consecutive ones go to final state otherwise stay go back again so that's why q2 if you find again zero q1 q1 1 1 we are at the final state this is how we construct the deterministic finite automata we call this as deterministic finite automata it is following the two conditions what are the two conditions that we already discussed previously on each state we have to mention the each input symbol transition of each input symbol on q1 what are the two input symbols 0 and 1 so 0 is there 1 is there so what what step we have to take if you find the input symbol zero what step you have to take if you find the input symbol one that is what transition means so q2 we mentioned about zero and we mentioned about one on qf we mentioned about one we mentioned about zero so this is deterministic finite automata and the second step is a second condition we have to follow on q1 if you take any input symbol it has to move only to one state in our entire example we are moving only to one state we are not moving more than one state so that's why it is called it as a deterministic finite automata so this is how we construct the logics and in our next classes we will discuss few more examples hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you